Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 32 of my Total Terraria World Annihilation. So this is going to be a very short cohort in comparison to the previous cohort. This cohort's going to consist of three videos. Um, one of um, one of the people I game with um, decided he's going to uh, open crates in Counter-Strike and he's letting me record his broadcast of that um, and post them in as uh, filler so I'm able to now get full 10 minute videos uh, by placing in some of those here and there so thanks to that I was able to stop um, after 3 videos worth instead of adding more raw footage and hoping that it maths out right. Um, so, a bit has happened since the last time I uh, started uh, recording voices, at least. Um, I got uh, my Counter-Strike account to level 3, so now I can technically play competitively. Um, I also found out that um, that uh, the people I was listening to had everything wrong about Peace Walker. They thought that you had to uh, get every AI part to um, have a complete Metal Gear Zeke. That ends up being completely untrue. Uh, just more AI parts makes it more powerful, but uh, the thing that was holding me back was actually the fact that I had not captured a fully functioning railgun yet. Um, so I just needed to fight the chrysalis a couple more times to eventually get a functioning railgun. And so I was able to finish the game at that point because all the snowball chain of events was very straightforward. And so now I'm finally done with Peace Walker after all that pain and thinking that I had to grind uh, extra op 17 to get enough R&D to do Peace Walker RK2 uh, fights to get the essential uh, AI parts and whatnot, but um, it ends up all being bogus and I didn't even have to fight the extra ops Peace Walker um, battle to get any AIs that I needed, so um, that works out. So I guess that means that I went from a thumbs up to a thumbs down to back to a tentative thumbs up. Um, So I wouldn't say go out and buy it or anything like that, but if you have access to it, it's probably worth giving it a shot. Um, but the wonkiness is a bit on the stressful side. And probably it's a far more enjoyable game if you are willing to uh, let spoilers um, take over your life. Um, but in any case, I'm done with that, and now I'm on to Shadow of Colossus before uh, going into Ground Zeroes, because uh, supposedly it's a good idea for me to take a one PS3 game break before moving on to the next Metal Gear, and that makes sense because, I mean, while it was self-imposed stress, you know, it was really taxing to um, think that I needed to get all those stupid AI parts uh, to finish the game. So, looking at the dates, it's um, 
Probably my previous assessment of the time is probably correct. Um, I'll probably be able to do my competitive debut run in October, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to cut voiceover, render, upload, make the edit, uh, the, uh, the post upload edits, um, and submit uh, for full publication uh, by the time October ends. Um, to kind of give a timestamp, uh, today is Back to the Future Day, uh, so it's uh, July, uh, not July, uh, October 21st. I'm not sure why I have July in my mind. Um, but in any case, Obviously, I'm dealing with this, and I can't move. I mean, with, with the way that I record, I've kind of got an automatic, automated naming convention, and basically crossing the streams would be a bit uh, dangerous. So I would technically need to publish this cohort of three videos, then raw off everything used to make it, uh, including the source videos for it. Uh, then I can move the other source videos that I, I'm going to be using in future cohorts um, off to the active working folder, and then I can record Counter-Strike safely. And technically speaking, if I had not started this cohort, uh, which I cut up weeks ago, no, not weeks ago, uh, I cut this up on Friday, so late last week. Uh, so if I hadn't done that, I probably could have just continued recording, that wouldn't be a problem, but it's going to want to uh, name things backwards, and it's going to get confusing to me, so better to just move forward and um, eat the potential delay in uh, it being viewable. I'm sorry that this kind of turned into a big technical shitstorm. Uh, but hopefully hearing the process uh, makes you appreciate the level of work I do uh, with these videos. It, I'm not simply just talking blindly as I'm playing and then submitting whatever it is um, willy-nilly. Um, I do have a procedure, and that procedure is time-consuming. And, um, as I've mentioned before, you know, I'm basically refusing to turn on ads for these things, so I'm essentially doing this all for free. Um, I do accept donations. I've got a, a Steam trade link uh, in one of my videos. Um, it should be in the uh, out of game uh, playlist. Uh, that's a playlist I just put random stuff that doesn't involve me being physically inside a game. A um, couple of people have given some uh, cheap Counter Strike skins already, and as I've uh, mentioned before, I'll thank them formally during that. Uh, Counter-Strike debut, probably in the first of the uh, set of videos for that first match. Uh, that's about all the time I've got for now. I will see you next video.